All right, fellas, we're going to answer the question of what happens when you MU two locomotives, um, one of them, the second one, being a uh, sound uh, locomotive. So what I've done here is I've dialed up the closest locomotive to you, uh, the Tiger Stripe, as the lead locomotive. It's DCC with no sound. The second locomotive is the F-45 with sound. <clears throat> like I said, the uh, Tiger Stripe is the top address. I'm going to throttle up, and barring dirty track, both of them move, but you'll hear the F-45 throttle up as well. You hear both of them move, I'm sorry, see both of them move, but the F-45 retains its capability to have the sound throttle up. All right, here's what we want to know. As the Tiger Stripe, the closest locomotive as the top address, and right now on the digit tracks, the smoke is chuffing on that side. I have control of the uh, forward locomotive. I'm going to hit the horn and see what happens. Nothing, because I have control of the 8301, and nothing is going to happen sound-wise. If I jump over to the left knob, and get my smoke to chuff on that side on the throttle, which means I'm controlling the second locomotive now. I'm going to hit the horn. All right, so you still have control of the horn and the bell and other sound functions that you would activate. It's just that uh, if you're switching between sound and speed, you'd have to switch between the two. Uh, two sides of the throttle. You cannot throttle up the second locomotive and have sound over it and control the first one. We know that just from what we know. So this confirms if you want speed and sound control on the same knob of your Digitrax, the sound locomotive needs to be first. But if it's another locomotive in the consist further back, it'll still have its functions. You just have to jump over to that knob, to that address, and activate it, and then switch back to the top address knob and control speed. I uh, hope this makes sense, and uh, that's it.